Welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at making a chart in Excel. But instead of just using a simple way of going click, drag, hold, insert column chart, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it a different way to show you how to take full control of your charts. Now, for now, just trust that it's nice to know the full control way because sometimes you have data in your spreadsheet organized in a way where you can't just highlight it nice and neatly like this. You're grabbing some data from over here, some data from over there, some data in pieces over there. So when you can take full control, you can basically graph any data no matter where it's been placed on your spreadsheet. So here we go. Okay, It's going to look hard the first time, but once you do it once or twice, you're going to find it's easy and it's still very fast. So here we go. Basically, just pick a square there and go insert the chart. Now, because I have nothing selected, no data selected, it just makes a blank chart. That's totally fine. Here's how we're going to fill the chart with data. I'm going to right click somewhere in the chart area and I'm going to take select data. Okay, sometimes it's called select source data or source data or select data. Here it's select data. We pick it and we get this little menu. Now this menu here is basically going to be asking us what values and what labels do you want to graph. Now I don't know if you remember from the previous video but we had talked about this term series. Okay. The series of values you want to graph. Well, here's a series right here, 13, 11, 3, 1, 2. That's what I want to form some bars out of or a line chart out of. So what we want to do here in this column is we want to add a new series. So we go Add. When it asks us to add the series, ignore the background picture for now, and it wants the name of the series. Now watch what I can do. If this is going to be votes, I can actually click on the cell here. B2, and it'll actually take that in. So you'll see the little code here, sheet 1, B2. It's going to be the word vote. Or if you want, you could just type in votes. That's totally fine. For the values, this is the more important part. You clear this out, make sure it's empty, and go select the values. Click, drag, let go. And look at what that did. That's basically graphed out my 13, 11, 3, 1, 2. 13, 11, 3, 1, 2. Hit OK. It takes you back here. Now that you're back here, you'll notice, well, it still says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I want dog, cat, bird, fish, reptile. Well, you probably guessed it. That's the horizontal axis labels. So click Edit. Where's the axis label range? Click, drag, let go. Okay, it grabs from A3 to A7, click OK, and that's it, click OK, and you pretty well have the same spot we were last time. What would you want to do next? You'd want to go to Layout, you can modify the title, the axis, the labels, whatever you want to do, just like before. So, I'm going to do that one again faster, even though you could rewind the video, but just to show you, it's not that long once you know what you're doing. So, insert a chart, right click. Select data, add a series, give it a name, votes, grab the values, hit OK, edit the labels, grab it, OK. Done, and it's all done. So really it's just a couple extra seconds, but the difference there is you took full control, and you can go back any time too, and you can edit right, what this thing is graphing. If you wanted a second set of bars, you can add another series on and it would draw a second set of bars in a different color or a third and a fourth. This way actually gives you quite a bit of power with your chart. That's why we want you to know it. So hopefully you had fun in that one. You have to come back for the next chart video, which is the last chart video, which is doing the charts that look like your science charts and math charts. Like these are ones that have words down here. Okay, as the categories. What I want now is what happens if you're doing a math chart for math class or physics or chemistry or you're doing science fair and you want to make a chart that involves numbers on the bottom. 
you have to watch the next video because these kind of charts just don't work for that. See you then.